Hey guys, how's it going? Is this freaking you out? No, not my bangs. It's just freaking me out. I actually moved my camera. And how much do you love? Can you guys see this tank top? Oh, it's not a tank top. Sweatshirt. It says, ain't nothing to it. Is this not the cutest thing ever? I am telling you, okay, I connected with this lady. Her name's Leah that runs this company. It's called Millionaires. Um, I think I saw her slash them on Instagram and I clicked over to their website and I'm like, you have the cutest stuff ever. I mean, honestly, ladies, I cannot imagine who's not going to click over there and see it. Um, hold on. Let me just check this out. Um, yeah, go to Millionaires. Now, let me tell you how it's spelled. Um, so, million, like million, M-I-L-L-I-O-N-E-I-R-E-S-S, millionaires.com, okay? Oh, she revamped the website. I, I have to tell you, I don't mind how I look in these glasses. I feel very much like I could be Ashley Banfield's best friend, or maybe Maria Bari Potomo, however you say her last name, I have no idea. Two women that I think I could not possibly have a bigger girl crush on. I mean, they're like, Tss. okay. So anyway, millionaires, cute, cute sweatshirt. And by the way, it's so fuzzy and warm on the inside. So full disclosure, she did. She was kind enough to send these to me, but I told her, I'm like, when I saw what their stuff was, not only does it look cute, but the messages on this stuff, I think every single one of my girlfriends is going to go crazy over this. Okay. So she sent me a few things and I have to show you. Oh, they have something new. Oh my God. <gasps> Sorry. I just, one of the things that I'm completely obsessed with lately is anything like, especially if you're working out and just hanging out, um, at the gym with your friends or whatever, it's just stuff that has these cute sayings on it, you know? Okay. I'm just, I'm all about it. That look human website that has the fun, you know, really kind of incredibly sassy, um, tank tops and whatnot, but millionaires is specifically for women. Um, my, this is what caught my eye at first because you know, I'm just all about, you can do anything you set your mind to. I mean, for me, it certainly changed my life when I founded a company and it exploded. It's been so successful and I'm, I'm finally able to be really proud of that instead of going, oh no, it's no big deal. You know, yeah, it is a big deal. And now I'm so fired up about getting other people to, you know, accept what their talents are and that they're not limited and that they can do things. And guess what? How cool is that. Now I know I'm putting it on wrong, but I'm just trying to make sure I show it to you. So she has a whole line of stuff that says, because I can in it. Now I'm just going to tell you, I know that I'm going to sound very old when I say this. It is so tempting for me to curve this, but I know you're not supposed to curve the rim, you know, like, sorry, it's probably been a few days since I've washed my hair. Um, also this is soft and fuzzy. This is not like so this is like furry material. This is so soft. I'm going to be wearing this all the time. She has a whole line. I just got something in my eye. A whole line of stuff that's because I can. Now she also, just go to the website. Tell her Kelly Alexa sent you. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to have to check. Sorry. I had something in my eye. I might have a discount code for you or a free shipping code. If so, after I shoot this video and I find that out, because typically I'm disorganized, I will put it in the links below. Um, but anyway, I, y you just, you have to go to this site. You, you have to go check out her stuff. It's really awesome. And furthermore, I am going to be doing a giveaway on my blog. So make sure that you check in the links below, head on over to kellyalexa.com. Make sure you subscribe there because I will be doing a giveaway of some of this stuff here. She also has cute t-shirts. So there's a real really soft and fluffy t-shirts. This one, I woke up like this, which is adorable. And you can see how blousey and, you know, oh, it's so, the, the material is so soft. Now this is the, just because I can tank top, right? But you gotta go check, like they've got iPhone, they've got a ton of caps in all different colors. They have a new um, tank top. I'm looking at the front page right now. And it says like, lay da, just D -U -A, D. <sighs> Thank you. 
But anyway, I'm trying to think. There was one other one. I'm pretty much going to order every single thing on here. I mean, isn't it funny though? Have you guys realized, like, I, I feel like doing a poll. Maybe you guys can answer in the comments below. Do you find yourself wearing a lot less of, do you find yourself that when you're kind of just chilling out and hanging out, you wear more like lounge wear? This is for guys as well. I mean, I find that when I was growing up, you always wore jeans or khakis. And now it's like, it's socially acceptable to be wearing, it's not as much like a, um, it used to be the out thing to, they'd make fun of girls that wore sweats. And now like with Victoria's Secret and pink and, and all this lounge wear, I mean, that's what we spend a lot of time in. But I like it because, you know, like this and, and a lot of the sweatshirts and a lot of the uh, active wear that's coming out, you don't feel like you're wearing, um, you know, ratty gym wear. Um, I, this is so soft and so comfy and I just love it. I love the sayings, had to share, share that with you guys. Um, so, was I going to make a point? Anyway, I'm trying to get on focus. Um, I want to wrap up today and, and just kind of give you guys a little bit of oomph for your week because one of the things for me that, and I referenced this probably in one of my earlier videos, but I'm focusing on you know June 1st through the end of this year and really being focused and committed and just Stri you know, I'm, I'm looking at December 31st and I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping until December 33rd. Th <laughs> December 31st. Not that that's my goal to stop, but it's got to be full steam ahead. I've got to go, you know, this is my commitment to myself. It's to myself, okay? Um, and that's what I want you guys to do. I, I want you to, to get into this feeling of, I am doing this for myself. I'm committing. This is a gift to myself and, and not a chore. Like, oh, I have to work out. This is such a drag. I'm committing to myself to just go all the way to December 31st to not um, not slow down, not decrease my intensity, um, keep getting better. And, and one of the things that has helped me is, is the realization that what has, I think, contributed to me slowing down or maybe getting off track or maybe losing a little bit of momentum in the past. We all do. Um, it's, it's not reminding myself daily and not being aware in some way daily of why I'm doing this and what's important. Freaking kids outside. Um, if you commit to yourself that in some way, whether it's a notebook, for me, I'm doing kind of a notebook thing. Um, if it's something that you put up on your refrigerator in your kitchen, um, if it's something that you have in your purse or if you have it on you know, your screensaver on your computer or your laptop or your tablet or your phone or whatever, something that is a key for you. And again, it could be a picture. It could be something that's just like a visual representation and, and it reminds you. Or in my case, it's something I've written out in, in my notebook and I'm taking the time three times a day. When I take my vitamins at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I am reading my commitment to myself. Um, you might think it's hokey, you might think it's redundant, but let me tell you, I know for a fact that one of the reasons it's easier for me, it's easy for me in the past to lose some momentum, to maybe think, oh, it's okay if I don't, you know, I, I, I said I was going to train tonight at seven o'clock, but I'm really tired. It's been a long day, so I'm not going to do it. If I'm reminding myself of where I'm going and what I'm aiming for, and also kind of softly reminding myself of, you know, the negative things that I'm trying to get rid of, right? You know, I, I want to be able to go into my closet again and wear absolutely anything. I want to be comfortable this this summer and, and when I'm on vacation again in bikini and not be like, oh, well, just I just don't like that little area or whatever. You know, those are all of the things that if you don't keep reminding yourself of that, it's easy to kind of give yourself a little break here. It's easy to stop your workout 10 minutes early. But if you're reminding yourself every single day just like you do in, when you first start something. Think about the momentum you have when you first start something. Why? Because you've paid attention. You've gotten angry about something. You know, you've either gained a certain amount of weight, you came home from the doctor, or you know, you've watched a program and you've gotten amped up. You gotta take that juice and give it to yourself every day. And so for me, that's one of the tips I'm gonna give you guys, is, is find something that you can do, and I suggest you do it at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Should be with your vitamins. You know, for me, there's certain vitamins I have to take three times a day. So three times a day, maybe you just do it once a day. Once in the beginning of the day, I'd almost say two times a day would be the minimum. 
in the er, in the early of the day, remind yourself, and then at the end of the day, remind yourself. And if you keep doing that, I think that alone could make such a huge difference in your activity, in your momentum, in your intensity, and that's going to fuel your consistency. And come on, ain't nothing to it, right? Get yourself a t-shirt like this, or a sweatshirt, of course. If you live in Chicago, you might as well get yourself a sweatshirt because, heck, it's cool enough right now for me to wear a sweatshirt. You guys have a good rest of the day. I will see you tomorrow.